In the 1800s, explorers battled mosquitoes, illness, and thick jungle growth in their search for the ruined remains of the Maya civilization. Their efforts paid off. When they came upon the half-buried monuments in the ancient Maya city of Copan, one of the explorers, John Lloyd Stevens, was so fascinated by what he saw that he purchased the site on the spot. Many of the great Maya cities lay hidden beneath the jungle growth for centuries. One of the earliest of these cities was El Mirador, which has been called the cradle of the Maya civilization. The city flourished from about 300 BC to AD 150 and was home to as many as 200,000 people. Most Mayan cities, however, developed during the Classic period, which lasted between AD 250 and 900. These cities included Copan, Tikal, Chichen Itza, and Palenque. Although each was an independent city-state ruled by a king, trade linked the city-states. Merchants from the cities exchanged goods such as salt and jade jewelry and often paid for them with cacao beans. Most Maya cities followed a similar layout. A large plaza in the center of the city served as both a public gathering place and market. Each city also contained a palace for the king, administrative buildings, temples, and stepped pyramids. The pyramids rose hundreds of feet in the air and were lined with steep staircases. Many of the pyramids featured platforms at the top. Priests conducted ceremonies on the platforms so that the entire population could witness them. The Maya built temples on the top of some of the pyramids. A huge ball court was constructed at the foot of at least one of these pyramids in each city to allow athletes to play the sacred Mesoamerican ball game. The Maya played this game, which began with the Olmec, to honor their gods. The illustration shows modern-day Maya athletes in action on the court. Like the ball game, many other aspects of Maya culture and art were linked to religion. Artists made sculptures that honored and brought life to various Maya gods. They also carved stone slabs called stele to honor their kings. Artists carved the king's likeness on the slab and recorded his actions on it as well actually setting his story in stone. All of these stories were probably passed down orally from generation to generation. This oral tradition continued long after the great Maya civilization had come to an end. It may have been weakened by war, food shortages, or overcrowding. For whatever reason, by AD 900, the Maya had abandoned many of their cities. When Spanish conquerors arrived in the 1500s, only weakened city-states had been left behind a shadow of their former glory.